This is me surrounded by a police escort as I prepare to face my biggest challenge yet. A mob comprised of 50,000 really smart nerds that I'm somehow gonna have to figure out a way to get through. But I don't think we knew how crazy it would be. But before I show you our solution, let me set the scene. I was asked to give a speech at the 2024 First Robotics Championship, an event where teams of students from across the country compete for the glory of having built the best performing semi-autonomous robot. People take this event very seriously and make some very cool robots. And you couldn't find something more up my alley, which is why I was so stoked when I was asked to be there by the founder, Dean Kamen. The dude is a genius who has over a thousand patents to his name, including Small Flex, the Segway. And talking to him made it clear what inspired him was fixing the world's biggest problems. Whether he's bringing clean drinking water to underserved communities around the world, or creating this robotics competition so the next generation of innovators can have a chance to show the world what they can do. We set up a Crunch Labs booth there so we could meet some of these future geniuses. And my stop at that booth is when things went awry. The really smart nerds were really out in force. Wow, it was scary. They not only surrounded the booth, but also filled the floor above us. Chaos! And our run of show consisted of one liquid nitrogen explosion, yeah! followed by me just trying to come up with stuff. Um. My t-shirt cannon couldn't reach the top floor and almost destroyed the bottom floor. So I decided instead to toss out signed fat gusses, and honestly, that was worse. I can't do that. Then I figured we would just snap a couple selfies. You guys wanna do selfies? Oh. Just because this is not a cue, it's just a mob. We should have planned this better. <laughs> what can we do, you think? At that point, I figured I could just throw out a bunch of knuckles, but then the crowd got so worked up, <laughs> the security also put an end to that. Running into some safety Yeah, yeah, we'll leave right now, yeah, yeah. And so they escorted me out through the crowd I just wanted to hang out with, to the safety of a waiting green room. But some of the smartest nerds were not giving up and were waiting for me outside. If we had a bigger budget, I'd be like Taylor Swift in the custodian like car. car. Instead, this is all we have. This is budget Taylor Swift right here. But security really was worried that I wouldn't make it to the stage on time especially if I was traveling at hopping speed. So I decided to call in the big guns. This is Jack. He's one of the many talented product designers here at Crunch Labs that come up with killer ideas for build box and hack pack. Killer ideas like mini rubber chicken launchers. Oh, that was excellent. <laughs> Yes. That was sick. <laughs> but today, Jack was going to be playing an even more critical role. He's the decoy. It's long enough for us to get him down on these playing fields without getting mobbed by the crowd. You're my body doll. <laughs> That's right. Today, Jack was going to become me. That is pretty good. How do I walk? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I began to take on the unassuming role of Jack Monaco while he mentally became Mark Rober to the point where maybe he was a little too into it. But we had to move now. All right, Godspeed, dude. It was time to see if the crowd would take the bait. And within seconds, Jack was being sworn by dozens of Mark Rober YouTube fans. Run, Mark, run! Mark Rober <laughs> yeah. was quietly celebrating as he walked down the fire exit. He better not be tarnishing my reputation. And while Jack was mostly able to keep himself from getting overwhelmed by his sudden influx of superfans, Yo, chill, 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 guys. I will say he's probably responsible for a lot of people on TikTok thinking I'm too cool to stand on an escalator. But I enjoyed my nice, slow zen walk through the main floor into the auditorium with no one suspecting a thing where I now had time to prepare for the event. And once store brand Mark Rober finally made his way through, we were able to switch costumes. Stolen Valor, give me that hat back. So I could go back to my normal life as Mark Rober. Hey! And Jack could go back to his normal life as Jack. Let's go! Here we go, who's ready for the next match? But I gotta tell you, watching these kids compete was nothing short of incredible. Wow! The high school I attended, Brayolinda! These are high schoolers, and they've achieved these incredible feats of science and engineering. Yeah! It was so inspiring. So when I took to the stage later that night to give a speech, hey! I was really excited to announce that we were going to use our new hack packs to bring even more kids to FIRST Robotics in the future. There's a lot of brain power in this room. My North Star is to reach as many brains as possible with this message that like science can be exciting. So I'm really stoked to say that Google.org in partnership with FIRST are donating a half a million dollars to get those boxes to underrepresented and underprivileged kids. It's super cool. And it was really exciting because 
how many life-saving inventions that we use every day came from adults who started as kids who just needed to be shown that they can do it. That's the question that motivates Dean, and that's why I was so honored when he decided to present me with the first Robotics Founder Award. It's a really cool clock that he built himself, and once a year it travels to a recipient that Dean thinks is helping bring robotics and engineering to kids that need it. The hope is that it inspires the recipient to take advantage of every minute, because there's always another kid who could use some inspiration, which is why sometimes when I need some motivation myself, I'll take some time to reflect on its meaning. Wait, that's not me. Jack, what the heck?